Hi Neil, good morning. Hi Shikan, good morning. Neil, share your screen and go through your topic. Okay, sure. I'm sharing my screen. Is it visible, Shikant? Ah, uh, yes, sir. Yeah. Okay. Today, topic about uh, managing approvals and task managers and supplementary data and uh, how to use uh, smart view. We'll see now. Uh, going to the approval process uh, now. From the activity guide, we follow these steps. All these. Uh, before that, you need to set up the approval process. Uh, for that, you have to create the uh, user as a approver one. Uh, going to the tools uh, cluster, there is access control card. Click on and uh, managing users tab. Then you need to click the approval uh, approver uh, approval. And now I will show in the navigation from application how to create. From click on the navigator. Here is the tool cluster under the access control card. Uh, click on the access control card. You, here you will see. Uh, Manage user tab. Click on the manage user tab and you will see the existing user. If you want to create the new user, uh, then you need to click on the create uh, option. Here you need to give the name as a approver and the password is approver. And you need to confirm the password once again. Uh, these are the mandatory things. After that, you need to assign the group uh, with the user belongs to. From the activity guide, uh, he said that uh, the user have, approver has the role as a user and viewer. You need to select and you just right click here. Uh, then the roles has been assigned. Then you need to click on the save. I have already created. Here is the approval unit. Uh, you need to, if you want to edit, you need to go to actions and click on edit. Uh, here you can see uh, here I given the use group as a user and viewer. Now as a viewer and given the process. Then click on save uh, if you want to save the changes. Um, so I have not done any modifications, so no changes has made. Click on OK and close it. Now going to the activity guide and make sure the application is uh, accessible to all users. Uh, for that you need to go to the application under that. Uh, settings you, you need to enable for all users uh, the application and you need to click on save going to the application click on navigator under applications there is the settings click on the settings card uh, under system settings you will see uh, the enabling user application for uh, here you need to select for all users and click on save then the, it has been saved successfully. Now going to the activity guide. And the third part is you have to uh, select uh, the user variables. Uh, you need to create the user variables, uh, which is the PM variable. Uh, under that, you need to select uh, all the years uh, in your application. For the, uh, for the time going to the application. Click on navigator uh, under tools. There is a variable. Click on variables card. Uh, uh, here you will see the existing user variables. Uh, here this is a year, PM year. Uh, here uh, click on the member selector and you need to select all the years. After selecting all the years, you need to click on OK. Uh, after that, you need to click on save to save the changes. Uh, the record was saved successfully. Then click on OK. Now go to the uh, activity guide. And fourth one is you know to log in as admin and then go to the tools and user preference. Uh, the user must select uh, one of the year, one of the year uh, from the PM year variable FY21, and you need to click on the save. Now going to the application from the navigation uh, the tools. Uh, there is a user preference card. Click on the user preference. Uh, here go to user variable here you can see the user variables of uh, year and pm year here uh, click on the member selector and you need to select the year fy21 after selecting you need to click on okay 
after this you need to click on save uh, to save the changes now the user preference has been saved successfully then click on ok and the fifth point is ensure that the no approval unit was created for actual fy21 and jan going to the approval unit uh, managing approval unit workflow you can click on go then you can see uh, see uh, whether there is any existing or not and now going to the task uh, we will see how to create the approval unit uh, for that you need to go to the uh, navigator and workflow under the approval unit card and then you need to click on the create button on the create approval unit page you need to enter the following details mm, going to the application from the navigation here is the workflow under that you need to click on the approval unit click on approval unit card uh, then you will see the existing approval unit if you want to create new then click on plus icon and you can give the details uh, i have existing ones so i'm doing cancel here and just editing the approval unit and i will show how uh, now going to the those details uh, which is in the activity guide like a uh, hierarchy name is approval unit and description and enabling process is none and you need to select the approval template as a consultation bottom up going to application here i entered the approval unit name as approval unit and description uh, here i need to select uh, the type is uh, none uh, and uh, here the two type of uh, template approval templates you need to select uh, the consolidation bottom up going to the activity guide mm. now click the primary and substation selection tab and then you need to include or uh, display all my entities uh, after that you need to expand the entities and then you need to select uh, the c155 entity enable and then go to the assign bonus tab now we will see how to enable the c uh, entity cv 151 entity going to application click on the primary and subsidiary selection tab uh, here you need to dis enable the all type of entity display here then expand here uh, here is uh, the expensive uh, here is the c uh, 151 entity you need to enable it then you need to click on assign bonus tab go to activity guide then clicking the assign bonus tab uh, under you need to expand the entities and you need to give the owner as a admin and the reviewer as a approval one for that uh, particular entity and then you need to click on save and, and click finally ok ok in the dialog box and close it going to the activity uh, application now you need to expand entities here is the entity which we selected in the primary and substitution uh, you need to give the assign the owner uh, by clicking here select here is the users you need to select the user and if here, uh, here is the viewer and select and click add uh, this is the process how we can add and remove now i'm giving the as admin and click on okay the same for the approval uh, as uh, he said you need to give the reviewer you need to give the approval and you will click on the promotional path and which entity and who is the owner and the reviewer you have assigned and then click ok and finally you need to click on save to save the changes uh, now the approval unit has been changed successfully and then you need to click on ok click ok uh, now here you can see the approval unit uh, which is created and finally display in the approvals unit place. Go to next space. And now we'll see how to assign the approval unit hierarchy for specific uh, combinations, uh, scenario year period combinations. For that you need to go to the navigation under workflow you need to click on the approval unit car uh, there you need to select the approval unit created er uh, earlier in the practice and go to the actions then you need 
take these combinations and finally you need to click the save option we will see from activity guide application click on navigator here is the workflow under approval unit assignment click on the approval unit assignment card uh, here you need to click on actions uh, to add the combinations uh, and you can delete the combinations by clicking on delete option uh, you need to select uh, the uh, first scenario I selected already as actual and uh, if you click on the down arrow you can select the year uh, then click on ok uh, for same as year as a period you can select as a John and then click ok and finally here is the save option you need to click on save to save the assignment for the approval unit and then click on save option Uh, now the approval unit has been saved successfully. Now go into the activity guide. After saving, uh, you will see how to promote and approve and log the approval unit. Uh, for that, you need to log in as admin. After that, you need to go to the manage approvals under workflow. Uh, there, you need to select these combinations and click on go. After that, you need to view in the process status. Uh, First, you need to select the tree view. After that, you need to go to the uh, process status. Expand the uh, approval unit. Uh, uh, then you need to click the radio button in the start column for this entity in the screen given below. And then click finally OK. And now the status changes to under review. Now going to the application. Click on Navigator, click on Managing Approvals. Uh, here you need to select the combinations and click OK. Uh, here under View, here is the Tree View option. Click on Tree View. And here you will see the approval unit for the combinations and you need to expand. And that finally you need to click on the Start option. Uh, now the approval unit has been started, then click on OK. And from the view option, there is a pro process status. Click on process status. Uh, now the approval status is changed to under review. Going to the activity guide. Uh, in the top right side of the page, you click the view button. Mm, then select the process tab. Uh, and the status is under review. We have seen that. Uh, for, uh, now we need to click on actions and change status. Uh, then there is the verify promote is in the status uh, and uh, actions drop down. You need to select and then you need to click on OK to promote the approval unit. You need to first select the entity. Going to actions, uh, here is the change status. Click on change status. Uh, here is the drop down actions uh, under that you need to select the promote and click on OK. Now the changes uh, status submitted then clicking on OK. Here the sub status was processing. So replace. Uh, now the current owner has changed for the approval. Before that uh, here you will see uh, as a admin and the status changes to under review. Once you promote it also, now going to the activity guide. Uh, how, now we will see how to approve the approval unit uh, as a login as a approver. By using the login password, login username and password uh, and then go to the navigator. Uh, and you need to click the approvals and then you need to click on apply for these combinations uh, and you will select change the uh, status. Uh, click on actions drop down you will see the approve and then click the change status and it will and click on done now we will see in the application now we have to sign out click on ok uh, now we have to log in as a approver click on go 
Uh, now the approver has been logged in. Uh, then go to the navigation under approvals card. You need to click on the approvals card. Uh, here you can see uh, the entities. Here, uh, here you need to select the combinations. There is FY21 and John and actual. Uh, then click on apply. Click on refresh. I'm going back to the as admin. Uh, if the combination so was changed or not. Now go to the manage uh, approval unit assignment. You need to explain. Here is the same and Now the approval unit was successful. It was assigned and we will see. The approval, so is the approval unit signed for the approval not. Uh, here you can see. Now once again I will sign out and see whether the approval will got the approval unit or is assigned or not. As a prover, uh, you need to log in here. Just clear out and uh, you need to apply once again. Mm, so here is the change option, so and you can log. Now click on the approvals. Uh, here is the approval unit. Uh, click on the approval unit. Uh, here you need to uh, yep, click on the approve and change the status. Uh, now the approval unit was approved. Now going to the activity guide. And you need to log in as an admin, and you will see the status will change to as a approver. Go into the application and then close. 
uh, then open the managing approvals. Uh, uh, here you will see the approval status as approved. I'm going to this is how how we can approve and this is all about the managing approvals uh, now about uh, task manager the second topic now we will see how to create uh, the organization units uh, for that you need to go to the applications and task manager uh, over their uh, organization tab uh, click uh, click the holidays tab there and click create a plus icon to add a new holiday rules and you need to give the name uh, id and then value in the name fields and then you need to click the plus button and you need to add the holidays and finally you need to click on save to save the holidays list uh, we will see in the navigation from now to go to the applications uh, Click on navigator under applications. So there is a task manager car, uh, cloud. Click on the task manager. Uh, here is the organization tab. Click on the organization tab. Uh, under below, you will see the holidays rules uh, tab. Click on the holiday rules club. If you want to add the new one, you can click on the new icon. Uh, then the holiday ID, rule ID and name given as a hr1 then after adding giving the name then you need to click on plus icon to add the holidays uh, from the calendar you need to select uh, here calendar dates and you need to enter and so i'm removing this one i'm actually done i'm so now this is the existing one click here then you as from activity guide he said that uh, give the holiday rule id and name uh, as a holidays as a 25th december christmas and jan as a uh, jan first as a new year holiday uh, here is the calendars uh, by clicking plus icon we will get uh, here clicking on the calendar you can select the date and here and give the name and finally you need to click on save to save the changes here uh, this is how we can create the holidays rules uh, then click the organization unit tab and you will see the existing organization unit and click the total geography and add sibling click on and you need to give the details uh, as a name and organization id and parent uh, organization is no and description and holiday rule which we create earlier you need to add and the working desk you need to select there and click uh, finally uh, save and also for which we created the organization unit and click on add child and you give the following details uh, where the organization unit parent organization unit is uh, middle eastern which is default and click on save and finally you can create the organization unit uh, going to the organization unit tab and here is the sibling uh, add sibling uh, once you click on the add sibling you, here you can see the new organization which is added here you need to give the name and the organization id and the working days uh, you need to select and here you need to uh, select the holidays tools which we have created removing i have i will see the existing one and by clicking the edit here you can also edit by clicking here uh, now we will see in the properties uh, the name and the description is Middle Eastern region and the holiday rules I selected which we created earlier and the working days I selected. Uh, you can have working days uh, different. You can select different files from the organization object. Then click on save. Mm. Once you click the save, uh, the Middle Eastern was added. Once if you want to add the child and click here and here is the add child button you need to click on add child button uh, then you 
the, then the properties tab will display here. You need to enter the name as a legal entity and the organization unit ID and the parent uh, which is Middle Eastern by default it will appear here and description same holiday rule was added here also and uh, working days as per combination and click on save. Uh, this is the process of how we can add the organization unit. Uh, now going to the activity guide. After creating the activity uh, organization unit and holiday rules, you need to create a team to assign the team. Mm, for that, you need to go to the travels cluster and the access control card. Mm, there is the access control tab. Uh, select manage the team tab and you will see a list of existing teams on the page. If you want to create, you can create by clicking the plus icon. Mm, going to the task manager tab and you need to give the names as a prover team list of if doers for the talk and the role you need to select as a user and click plus icon to add members to the team mm, select there is a prover and click on add button to add the user to the team and click on ok and finally you need to check box the primary selection and click on ok now we will see how to create the team and how to assign the user for that. Uh, you need to go to the uh, tools cluster under the access control card. Uh, click on access control card. Uh, here is the manage, uh, manage team tab. Click on here. Uh, then you can, if you want to add new, you can click on the plus icon uh, or you can want to edit uh, by selecting the approval and team and click on edit as from the activity guide the name is approval team and description mm, for task manager i have selected the user uh, for to add a member you need to click on plus icon uh, here you need to search for search uh, for the uh, approve uh, user and then click checkbox here and you need to click add after that you need to check here checkbox and then finally you need to click ok then the approval will appear here at last you need to select the primary user checkbox and then click on ok now uh, this is how we can create the team and you assign the uh, user approval for that team. And now we'll see how to create and add, uh, how to create a template and uh, add a task for that. For that, you need to click on the applications task manager. Uh, there you need to click uh, the template tab. Uh, then you need to click on the plus icon. Uh, they, under properties, you need to enter the details, name, description, organization unit, and the number of days uh, before 0 was 10 and 20. Now we will go to the application. Click on navigator. Uh, under application cluster, there is the task manager card. Click on the task manager card. Uh, here you need to click on the template, uh, templates. If you want to create new one, you can click on the plus icon or you, you want to edit, uh, select and you need to click on edit. Uh, from the template, you need to, uh, after creating the plus icon, you will land into the properties space. Uh, you need to give the name and description uh, and the organization unit, you know, select the organization unit, uh, which uh, after selecting, you need to click on OK. And the number of days is 20. And the after days, you need to enter as it uh, here. You need to days before is 10 and after is 20. Then we'll go to the activity guide. Now, after that, you need to go to the instruction tab and go to the values instruction for monthly and give the value and click on OK. And you need to return to the template page. Now going to the activity, here is the instruction tab. You need to enter the instructions for monthly close. 
and then click on OK. Uh, click on OK. Now we will come back to the template space. Now go into activity guide. Now click the task tab. Uh, in the filter section and the template field, you need to select uh, the template for monthly close. Uh, after that, you need to click on plus icon to add a new task. Uh, there you need to select uh, the properties. Uh, you need to enter the fields. Uh, and the task type, you need to select as a basic task and the source and the organization unit description and the who is owner and act, you need to check box the activity checkbox. Now we will go to the task from the activity. Here is the task tab. Click on task tab. Uh, you by clicking new icon, you can add new. This is the existing one by click you can edit. Uh, after clicking the new icon, you will land into the property space. Uh, you need to give the name. Uh, here I'm giving the name as a reviewer task 001 and the ID and the description. Here you need to select the organization unit uh, by clicking here. Uh, the source uh, and you need to select the task type. Uh, so here by expanding here you say you can choose uh, which uh, task you want i selected as a basic task and click on ok uh, here i chosen the owner as the administrator and finally i have checkbox the activity i'm going to activity guide mm. Now go to workflow tab and then you need to assign uh, give the assignee as an admin user and starting date was 7 and end was 15 and allow early start checkbox uh, you need to check. Now go into the activity. Here is the workflow. Uh, under assignee you need to select assignee as an administrator by clicking here. So, uh, select assignee uh, here click on search uh, here you can see the users and you need to select and click on ok close already i assigned it as administrator uh, so i have not changed it so then it shows me like that uh, here I need to select the day as a 17 and end as 15 and you need to check box uh, the allow user early. Now going to the activity guide. Mm, on the workflow tab under approval section you need to plus, uh, click plus icon to select the approvals uh, for, the, for that and then you need to select the approval uh, user icon and then you need to select as a teams and you need to assign the team as a approval team and then click on OK. And provide the values uh, for the attribute in the workflow approval as a day 22 and required actions by any approval. And then finally, you need to click save and close the option. Go into the application. Uh, under approval, you need to click the plus icon to add the approval. So, Click on this icon to add you uh, under user icon. You need to select here uh, teams and you need to search for the team here. The approval team is display here. You need to click on OK and then finally click on OK. okay. Uh, then the approval team will appear here. After that, you need to select the end date as in the activity guide. You need to select date only and the required actions is for you need to select any approval. And then finally, you need to click on save and close. Then you have came back to the task space. Going to activity guide. Uh, and this complete the practice and how to create the new template. And we will see uh, have seen how to add the task for the 
particular template. So go on to the next page. And now we will see how to create the schedules from the templates. Uh, for that, you need to log in as admin. After that, you need to go to the applications and task manager. Under task manager, you need to click the templates tab. Mm, choose the template record, which is named as a template for a monthly schedule. Now go to the application. Uh, we are on the click on templates. Here is the template for monthly. I'm going to activity file. Now choose the template record with the name. After that, on the toolbar, click the create a schedule button, uh, which is uh, beside actions option. Then you need to give the details schedule year, pair, and uh, date, zero date. Going to application. Here you need to select. Uh, here is a create schedule option. If you click on here, uh, here you need to give the name and year and period. Uh, here is the zero date you need to select. Uh, after that, you need to click on the create schedule button in the create schedule dialog box. So click close and it shows the complete successfully by clicking on that. This is the process how we can create a, a schedules from the templates. Here is the create schedule option. Once you create, then it shows successfully. Going to activity guide. This is the process how we use a task manager to create the organization unit, holidays rules, and Create scheduling the task. Now in the lesson three, we will see how to manage the close processing using task manager. For that, how to open a schedule. Uh, for that, you need to go to the application task manager card. Uh, then you need to click on the schedule tab. Uh, then choose the schedule, the name monthly schedule. And in the tools bar, select the set status button and then click on open. And then it, in the warning dialog box, you need to click on OK and then click OK in the result dialog box also. Uh, then review the status column for schedule is open. Uh, now we will see how to open. Now go to the navigation under application, click on the task manager. Uh, under that, you need to click on the schedules tab here. After that, you need to select uh, uh, select uh, the monthly schedule. And uh, here is the set status. Uh, click on uh, set status. And you once you click on open, uh, that uh, status will change to open here. This is the process how we can uh, set the status uh, and open the, open the schedule. And now we will see how to submit and approve the task uh, while uh, scheduling. For that, you need to log in as admin and then go to the tasks. On the home page, I can, you can go to navigation to task and then click on the schedule task tab. In the schedule task field under filter, you need to select uh, the monthly schedule. Uh, then task uh, should appear on the list of the task. Going to the application. Click on the navigation. Here is the task. Uh, click on the task uh, card. Uh, here, after clicking, you need to filter the schedules. Uh, on the schedule task tab, you need to filter. Click on the application. Here is the workflow. Here is the schedule task. Uh, here, you need to filter. By adding the filter, here you need to choose. After then choosing, you will see the, uh, the review task here. Uh, after that, uh, you need to uh, go to the workflow dryer uh, to see the approve this task is there. Then click on submit a button. In the task manager dialog box, click yes to submit the task uh, to the approval unit. So we're going to the
Now uh, here go, you need to go to the workflow. Now uh, here is the option submit task. You need to click on the submit task. Uh, then click on S. Yes. Uh, now it was submitted to the approval team. It, uh, the task has been given assigned for the approval team. Now you will see in the here yeah, the assign the administrator the assignee was administrator. He given the task for the approval team. After that, that uh, to approve the task, you need to log in as a approver, and then you need to go to the tasks. And so once we click on close, sign out and log in as a approver. Click on go. Go to navigation. Here is the task. Click on task. And go to schedule tasks. Here is the task which is scheduled. Uh, click on the task name. Uh, then you can see the approved task and reset task. Uh, and uh, he can also release. Uh, then go to activity guide. After that, you need to claim, and after that, uh, review the task properties uh, drawer. Uh, uh, then click the approval task button and close close all the tabs. And this is the process how we can sub new and approve the task. Now go to the application. Here is the properties tab, and here here you will see the in the task details here. After seeing the details, if you want to approve the task, uh, then click on approve task. Uh, then the task has been approved successfully. And then you need to close. Uh, this is process how the how to schedule a task and how the approval will approve the task. And now you have to log in as admin. Can go. I'm going to activity guide. Right? Uh, now you can close and lock as a jewel uh, by logging as admin and go to the application task manager. Uh, then click on the schedule task and you can select the task uh, schedule and then change the status as close and Click on S, uh, then the status will be changed. After that, you have to same do the process, and you can lock uh, the task further. Now going to the application. After that, you need to go to the navigation under application cluster. Click on the task manager card. Uh, here you need to click on the schedules. Uh, here the status is open, uh, so select here and uh, click on set uh, status. Uh, here you want to close it and you click on close. Uh, then click on uh, warning dialog box X and finally you, you need to click on OK. Uh, now it was closed. Uh, if you want to lock, uh, then go to the settings. Uh, then click on lock. Then click on S. Then click finally OK. Uh, then the task schedule was uh, locked finally. This how uh, we will see how the uh, how to lock and how to close the schedules. Now we will see the practice about uh, supplementary data. Uh, for that, you need to create the data set and collections uh, from the application. You need to go to the supplementary data card. Under that, you need to click on the collection tab. Uh, go into the application. Click on navigator. Uh, here is a uh, under supp uh, application cluster. Click on the app supplementary data card. Uh, then you need to go to the collections tab here. Here is the collection tab. Click on here collection tab. Go to activity guide. Mm. 
After going to collection tab, you need to click on the new icon to add a new collection of data sets. After adding, uh, you landing to the properties tab. Uh, there you need to give the name, description, and collection interval as this default. Now going to application. Uh, here is a plus icon to add a new collection. Uh, after clicking on that, uh, you will add landing into the property space. Uh, here you need to enter the name and description and you need to select as a collection interval as a default then you need to click on to the attributes tab after clicking to the attribute tab you need to click on the plus icon uh, plus add attribute uh, from the drop down menu and then click on ok after adding the values for each attribute and repeat this process uh, for that first we, we need to add um, four here and remaining three here we need to add seven attributes and based on the data type and requirements and the list values we need to select now going to the application which i have already created so i am editing it select and click on edit or you can if you want to add and you can click on the plus icon and you will get these two options by clicking add a attribute uh, and the new one will be appear here so i'm editing now after creating new one you will land onto the property space now you need to give the name and you need to select the data type as a text after that you need to check box the required and then click on ok uh, then the one um, attribute will appear here and you can see the attribute uh, type which is input and uh, you can see the data type also here and same for data description and also data type and now we'll see how to add the list and list values here treasury bills and this saving bonds and on the debit here the list uh, go to the application uh, here is the debit type i am editing here uh, here i selected the data type as a list uh, so i get the these uh, list values here once you click on the data pay, uh, type as a list uh, then you want to add the list uh, by clicking on the plus icon uh, then the field uh, then you have the option to enter the value from activity guide he said that uh, you need to enter treasury intermediate uh, ten note and saving bonds and other bit and then finally you need to save it and you need to click on ok to save those changes uh, for short term you you need to select the data type as sr no but clicking edit uh, here the data type I selected as SR no and click on save option for debit amount I selected the data type as a number and uh, I added the thousand separated checkbox I click in and the negative format is one by two now here is the debit account and click on the edit option here uh, the data type once we selected the data type as a number then these uh, fields will be we can get uh, then you need to check box uh, here the use thousand separation and the negative number format is chosen as a uh, one two three and then you need to click on ok and this is how we can add the attributes for the data set and then Click the key identifier against the debit ID field under attributes. Here you need to check box here, uh, which I have check box day here for debit uh, ID. And that's activity guide. And click finally save and close. Uh, this practice will show how to create a data set for that uh, collection. And here is the save option. You need to click on the save. Uh, uh, you can click on the save and close if you want to directly close after save. After saving, you the collection will appear here.
and go into activity guide and now we will see how to create the template uh, for supplementary data uh, now for that uh, you need to go to the application and then you need to select supplementary data card uh, in the left hand uh, click on the form template tab uh, then you need to click on plus icon and uh, you need to give the name description and calls and interval for that and going to instruction tab you need to give the instructions going to the application uh, this is uh, going to navigation on the supplementary data after that uh, you need to click on the form template tab uh, if you want to create new one you can create uh, by adding plus icon or you can edit to the existing one uh, under property tab you need to give the name and description after that you need to go to the instruction tab and uh, you need to enter the instruction in the activity guide. Going to activity guide. Uh, now select the section tab and then you need to click on plus icon and you need to give the name and data collection, uh, collection and uh, data record uh, collection which we created earlier as a debit details as 001 and click uh, column tab there. Go to session tab mm, here you can see by adding plus icon you can add uh, the new session by clicking on you can uh, now the form was uh, once you click on the plus icon uh, then you will land into the properties tab there you need to give the name and the collection we here you need to select uh, after that, uh, you need to data record as a column. You need to select uh, data record as a row, and then you need to click on the go to activity guide. Now uh, the rack uh, data record is row, and then click on to the column tab. After clicking to the column tab, you, you need to uh, you need to check the following activity to be included. Here you need to select rows. After that, you need to go to the column tab. Uh, then you need to check box uh, th which we created, uh, debit description and debit data. After that, uh, enabling uh, will go to activity. Uh, then click on the group by tab. Uh, after that, you group by against debit field. Uh, you need to check box and include against debit field. After that, uh, finally, you need to click OK. Then they click uh, Workflow tab and enter the following details when to start uh, the session. Go to Activity. Uh, now click on the Group by tab. Mm, here, uh, from the Activity Guide, he said uh, under uh, Group by uh, Debit type, you need to select checkbox here uh, for including uh, for debit amount. You need to checkbox. After that, you need to click on OK. After that, you need to go to the workflow tab. Uh, here, you need to select um, the workflow uh, options uh, from the activity guide. He said the prepare, approve, and post. You need to select. After selecting, you need to go to the approval. And then the workflow options we have selected. After that, uh, the duration of uh, prepare and uh, approve and integration, you need to select OK and then enter the following information in the user section as a prepare who is a prepare and approver and then click finally save and close. And this practice shows also how to create a new template for supplementary data. For that, uh, here is the duration you need to select as a one and approver as a one and integrator as a one. Uh, here is a user, uh, user section. Once you click on plus icon, uh, then you will see in the workflow under that you need to select the, by clicking on the select user icon. Uh, here I selected as a user service admin for approval, approval integration as a service admin. And finally, you need to click on uh, save and close. Uh, this is the process how we can create the form template uh, for supplementary data.
now we will see uh, the practice session for uh, selection of uh, collection supplementary data now for that uh, you need to log in as admin and uh, uh, application uh, for that you need to deploy the form for that uh, you need to go to application supplementary data and the data collection period tab you need to click on after that you enter the field names uh, as a values uh, and then previous month details and then you need to and starting uh, date of a month uh, of our now and then finally click uh, save collection tab you now we will go to the application and uh, here you will go to the collection data collection period tab click on the data period and you need to change, open the these periods uh, go to the collections now go to the uh, data collection period tab and then you need to enter and you need to open actually i have opened Uh, here is the start date and the uh, end date. Uh, you need to select the close date also. Uh, by uh, before it uh, shows like here, uh, you need to select the date. After uh, selecting uh, here, it look like here. After that, you go to uh, click on actions. Uh, you can open the. You can get a open option. Uh, then clicking on the open, then the status will change to open. Then click on save to save the data collection period. Now going to activity guide. Now we will see how to deploy a form template. Uh, uh, for that, you need to go to the form template tab and the actions. Uh, there is a uh, deploy button. You once you click on the deploy, then click the managing glass icon to the data field and select those combinations then you need to click on open period uh, the deploy click ok in the deploy form template the dialog box uh, review the information uh, and click on deploy button once you click on x and finally you need to click on the ok now we will go to the form template here is the form template tab click on form template uh, here you need to open. Uh, then you can see how you can edit uh, by double tapping here. Uh, click on the actions. Uh, here, uh, go to the forms. Uh, under view options, uh, you can see the columns wise also. Click on actions uh, here. You can reopen it. You can close it. Here. If you want to duplicate or you want to add it, you can add it. Uh, here is the actions options. Uh, here is the deploy option. Uh, once you click on the deploy options uh, by selecting the form and you need to go to the options and you need to click on the deploy. After that, you need to search need to select this jar and then you need to click on OK. After that, you need to select it and then you need to click on deploy. Uh, then you need to click on S. Uh, uh, you need to click here and you need to click on OK. Uh, then uh, the process was uh, going on and then finally you need to close through it. This is the process how to deploy a form template. That finally you will see this finally and then you need to close again. Uh, now we will see how to enter the data in form and post into the FCC. Uh, for that uh, entering data and submit the form you need to go to the home page starts. 
uh, then you need to select the supplementary da data task tab in the left panel uh, and in the filter you need to give the default and the current year and the scenario now we will go to the application now it is finally completed then you need to close it close now go to application uh, navigation and the task tab click on here uh, then here you need to select the supplementary data task uh, and you need to select these combinations here uh, after that you can apply uh, then you will see the see here now i'm going to select the period as jan here is the refresh option click on refresh uh, then uh, here the debit information will appear here uh, then uh, go to activity guide after that uh, you need to click the template name to open the form after that uh, in the detail center uh, of the two rows uh, by adding the plus icon and then you need to give the details uh, of amount and uh, description and these details and then click on finally save and submit and close the form uh, for that uh, you need to open open the form by clicking on the name mm, here after that uh, here you will see uh, the numbers which is already saved so it's not showing otherwise here you will see the two number after that clicking on the plus icon you can get the rows here uh, here you need to enter those details uh, and here I'm giving the amount values so after entering you need to click on save option after saving uh, then click the submit button uh, and finally you need to close uh, here is the claim option you need to click on the claim then you get the submit option uh, then you need to click on the submit option uh, then uh, it was submitted uh, for approve the form, you need to log in as a approver and you need to go to the task uh, and uh, there is a supplementary task. Uh, then the approver get uh, the approve and then click on approve. Now we will close it and we will sign in as a approver. And click on go. Now the approver was uh, logged in successfully. Now go to the uh, navigation and I'll click on tasks. Uh, then click on the supplementary data task. Uh, here the approver has in. Then so he opened the form. Then click on the name of the form. Uh, then he get the approve uh, by clicking on the approve option here successfully then you need to click on close now you need to sign in as a admin click on go you go to activity guide what the uh, admin should do after login uh, then the admin also go to the task uh, card then go to the supplementary data tab after that uh, you need to select uh, the form and then uh, click on the name of the form to open and then click the post icon and then finally close go to the application uh, click on the task uh, card uh, there you need to click on the supplementary data uh, the the open the form click on the name of the form uh, then you will see uh, you just need to climb here 
uh, then uh, the admin get the post option or reset option uh, by clicking on the post uh, the data has been submitted and uh, now the click on close uh, this is the process of how uh, it has been uh, form has been approved by the approver and the admin has uh, posted the supplementary data form. This was now going to the activity guide. Now we will see how to install and uh, configure the smart view. Mm, for that, you have to log in as an admin and then you need to go to the settings and actions. Uh, then you need to on the home page drop down menu you will see in the upper right corner uh, click the download links you have navigated on the uh, download space after that uh, you need under smart view and you need to uh, install the epm automation and uh, as a smart view And also you need to install and configure uh, extensions uh, for close supplementary data extensions. Uh, now close this. Now click on uh, here. Uh, here you will see the downloads. Uh, click on the downloads. Uh, now we will. Uh, you can download uh, for Windows or Linux. Uh, depend upon your system. Click on the download uh, for EPM and automation and Smart View and Smart View uh, extension also. And you need to by clicking by clicking here uh, the file will download for your local system after completing this file you need to go uh, uh, you need to go and you have to run as you need to after going uh, you need to run as an administrator uh, uh, for all these uh, you have for all these you need to download and run as a which I have already installed, uh, so I am closing it. This is the process of uh, how we can install all these extensions. And to configure the smart view, you need to log in uh, using uh, as a as a URL and a cm slash svd uh, for uh, view this smart view ribbon options uh, for supplementary data. And you know also for a close. Uh, uh, task uh, there is a close task we will see in the actual sheet uh, by opening actual sheet you need to select the bank worksheet uh, then you need to click on the smart view uh, click on panel uh, click on private connections uh, here you need to select uh, now I'm selecting as a smart view. Here you need to log in.
after that you need to enter the password click on go no expand now once go to the activity guide private connections and then uh, you need to select uh, cm and svd after that you have to log in and after logging you need to expand the application after expanding uh, you will see a click on the close task uh, and you will see the uh, submit task or close task options uh, under here i'm going to the excel sheet here you need to select as a cm svd here you need to expand Uh, then you need to click on the close task Uh, the task which is already submitted uh, so it does not show any submit options uh, here otherwise you will see the close uh, task you will see here now going to activity guide right? Uh, and you need to click on open the form uh, and to complete the practice to initial configuration close and supplementary extension okay. and for viewing the analysis with the data with the smart view now we will see about the supplementary also by clicking on the supplementary data option uh, here you need to expand the application you have to log in Click on go. Click on this. Let it close. Now expand the local. Here you will see the default. Uh, you can select uh, here and you need to click on open uh, the unsaved uh, will be lost or you want to continue as uh, now uh, the here you will see the supplementary data so uh, which we added uh, the weight and uh, credit amount uh, here uh, for the saving bonds and other bonds so uh, here you will see and it was closing date and starting weight uh, which we given earlier uh, this is all about the supplementary data uh, how we use in the by using smart uh, by using here now we will see how to use uh, in smart view by clicking here smart view by using url you have to log in here
and you need to give the password click on go uh, now um, this is the smart view option I, I want to uh, open the form uh, which is data entry by clicking on if you want uh, by manually then click on open form uh, uh, then the form will uh, open here uh, where you can analyze uh, here uh, going to the activity guide Uh, now you have to log in as a smart view in a private collection. We have logged in it. After that, you need to expand uh, from the libraries which we have done. Uh, after opening, uh, you need to select the form and click on open form. And uh, after that, uh, you will see the ribbon actions uh, uh, which is appear here by clicking a new FCC ribbon appear. Uh, under that, uh, you need to Mm, select uh, the country as is happening and actual and you need to click replace uh, to change the numbers and under uh, data options uh, you will see some of the settings and uh, go to the action sheet uh, here is the ribbon option fccs uh, then mm, we, uh, by clicking on uh, by edges you can you can submit by data by clicking on the submit or uh, you can lock it uh, by click on uh, by click on the cell and you can exist uh, but there is a q1 exist under spreadsheet you can exist now go to activity guide Uh, now set uh, data shows uh, dimension and uh, data options. Uh, click on data options. Uh, there you need to uh, replace uh, the missing block with uh, no missing blocks uh, appear, and you can uncheck uh, also the no apply for all. Click on apply for all seats and click on refresh also POV. Uh, then going to uh, going to the action sheet uh, click on the smart view uh, here is the options uh, click on options go to data options uh, there you need to uh, remove this uh, and also here also for no access and you also check box the uh, suppress missing and okay And there is another option, so you can go here. Uh, by the suppression here, you apply for all seats. Uh, click on OK, and now it was applied for the all seats. Uh, for machine was the uh, element. I'm going to get to see activity guide, and you can enter the data by entering, and then once you're entering, then click on the Submit option in FCCS ribbon option. Uh, there you can uh, adjust uh, the sales uh, by selecting grid edges. Uh, you can increase uh, increase uh, by or decrease by. Here you can increase by and finally you need to submit the data. Uh, this practice shows how to enter and submit the data through using the smart view. Uh, so we'll see how to enter the data. Here is the hundred, so I want to edit it. So I want to read it as a one. After that, you need to click on uh, submit data. Uh, then uh, click on OK. Uh, then it was submitted. Then go to FCC uh, to exist the data and select the cell. And then uh, it was stopping. Uh, so I get you need to log in again to the. Click on the blank sheet. Click on Smart View and click on Panel. Uh, under uh, Private Properties, uh, you need to select as a Smart View. Uh, select the URL. You need to log in here.
click on go so expand and open the form in the data forms uh, here is the data entry form click on and open form uh, now there is a existing so select here and click on adjust uh, click on grad spread uh, increase by uh, if I want to uh, add increase by 10 uh, the number will increase uh, 20,000 as a uh, 210 then click on spread uh, then the value has been up, uh, updated and then you need to click on the submit data to ch save the changes uh, this is the process how we can increase uh, now going to the application Uh, now in the lesson 8 we will see how to use uh, automated uh, task using uh, EPM automate uh, for that you have to install this uh, by going to the download folder after installing uh, you will see the command prompt uh, under windows uh, there is a command prompt uh, as a EPM automate Here is the launch EPM automate. Click on launch EPM automate, uh, then the command prompt will open, appear here. After that, uh, you after uh, you need to give the login login uh, by running the command uh, as a uh, as a uh, you need to give the command. Uh, as a EPM login uh, and the EPM username and default and the use URL for that particular and then you need to click on uh, enter then you have seen login successful. No. This is the login and then after entering uh, the login was successful. It shows after login. Go to next space. Uh, after that uh, you have to upload the file. After you have login execute the command to upload the file as a EPM automate upload file and the location of the file. Uh, file name should be dot in CSV. And click on enter. Uh, the file I want to change. Uh, and I will see the was my file name uh, by going to the uh, here is uh, my file name is uh, ma so I am giving the name as uh, ma dot csv now you need to click on enter uh, now the upload file was uh, completed successfully. Uh, now the file was uh, successful. Uh, uh, you need to create uh, before you need to create the jobs uh, to import uh, the job. After that you need to uh, give the name, uh, give the command run as EPM automate 
and import metadata and the job name uh, to import and then click on enter. And DPM automate uh, here. And we will see the job name from application going to the application. Further, we need to create the job before in the application from the navigation. Uh, go to the overview. Click on dimensions. And click on import. Uh, here is uh, my job, uh, which is uh, metadata, uh, the name. Uh, so I'm opening the job. And here the key, you need to give the name and, uh, and finally you need to click on save. Uh, then the, it has been updated and then you need to click on close. Uh, I'm giving the meta import in the comment. And then click on enter. Uh, now it is uh, was processing. Uh, once it is uh, so, so successful, uh, uh, this is the process. Uh, how uh, now it was successful. The metadata import was successful. Uh, this is how we can use APM to upload files and uh, you can do the jobs. Now going to the activity guide. Uh, now the metadata was successful. Uh, now we can see the uh, those uh, in the application job section, the import was successful or not. Uh, this completes the prediction using uh, APM. Now go to, we will check once in the jobs section. Click on jobs from the application. Uh, now the import metadata was, uh, was done successfully. It was shown. Now go into activity guide. Uh, this is all about uh, today topics, uh, Shrikan. Uh, thank, thank you, Anil. Thank you, Shrikan.